Good morning. Well, I'm back on the slipway to do some more painting. My plan for today is to remove the eyelets along the starboard side, which hold the fenders in place. Not that I use them at the moment. I'm not sure if I ever will, but I need to remove those. I'm then going to rub down the um, priming that I did the other day and clean it up and give it its first top coat of paint. Um, I'll be using a roller for that I think, it'll be a lot quicker and uh, we'll see how we get on. Before I start anything I'm going to change over the filter in this mask and put a new one on. This is the first time I've changed this There we go, soon done. Nice clean filter. It's very stiff. The head has just broken off one of the screws. <laughs> I've just put a 240 grit on the orbital sander. Was thinking of using a 320, but I think that might be a little bit too fine at this stage. change the 240 to 180 because there are some areas that need a bit more rubbing down than others. This one here. There we go. <laughs> I now need to clean it up. I use white spirit for that. Then I'm going to get ready and paint it. <laughs> Gotta give it a go. Theoretically, it's a little bit too hot to do the painting. It's about 20 degrees at the moment. Although there is a breeze, it doesn't feel like 20 degrees. I think 15 is the recommended temperature to paint, but I need to crack on. I'm only doing a long, slim strip, so I don't see it should be a real problem. I'll be using the roller. First of all, as I said just now, I need to clean up the side and then get myself ready. I don't know if you can see, but it's just starting to rain. Well, rain has stopped play again. 
I did carry on when it started spitting, thought we might get away with it, but uh, it's raining quite heavily now, so <laughs> I brought everything inside the boat as best I can. Actually it's showing now as raining. So now is one o'clock and my phone says it's one minute, one minute past one. <laughs> and then it shows heavy rain at two o'clock and at three o'clock and lighter rain at four o'clock and more rain at five o'clock. So that might be it for today. <laughs> we'll have to see what happens later. The sun is going to come out possibly later on. I really don't like these interruptions, particularly when I've got a wet roller and a wet paintbrush because you never know whether to clean them or wait and oh, what a mess. <laughs> I've just come outside and screwed the eyelets back into the side of the boat. I didn't want to forget about that because water would get into the insulation. Not a good idea. I've done one of the screws tight and the other two on each one I've left loose just so I don't lose them really. You can see how wet it is on the roof. I really do think this is the end for today. It may brighten up later. Time will tell. So it's obviously time for lunch then. Well it did start to brighten up but it is still raining. I really can't see me doing any more painting today. I was rather hopeful just now. The side of the boat did dry off apart from a few runs down which would have been easy to wipe off. But uh, it's now raining again. It's blowy as you can see. The sun has just come out. The boat is dry. I'm going to crack on. It's seven o'clock in the evening. I don't know whether I've done the right thing or not, but um, I thought it was worthwhile coming out, trying to get it finished. Then I can start on the other side tomorrow. Well, I finished that side now. <laughs> whether I should have done it, I don't know. Um, I don't know what the time is, probably 7.30 or so. I had wanted to paint the top of the gunwale as well, but uh, I've run out of paint in my um, tray. I don't think it's a good idea to do that as it's a flat surface as well. So I'm going to leave it there for now. So sort of pleased that I've done it by the end of the day. It's got to all be rubbed down again, so if it does go awry, it's not the end of the world. Good morning. It's a lovely day, very pleasing. <laughs> There's a little bit of a chill in the air, but there is warmth in the sun. So before I start today, I need to turn the boat around. I'm quite pleased with the work I did late yesterday. Looks fine to me. It will be rubbed down again and obviously painted over. But I now need to work on the port side of the boat, which at the moment is in the centre of the slipway. Hence the need to turn the boat around. So I'm going to do that now and then we'll get cracking. So I've turned the boat around and now I'm ready to make a start.
this side of the boat is quite badly marked. I don't think I noticed it before because I was working in the shade. But now I've got the sun on it, <laughs> I can see how bad it is. I'm rubbing down and I'm coming back to bare metal in one or two areas and the finish is rather sort of pockmarked. I don't intend to sort of fill it and rub it, fill it and rub it. I just want to paint it, but uh, I think I might have to do some more priming once I've done this rub down. And also I've noticed that some of the eyelets that hold the fenders on this side are going to be extremely difficult to remove, so I'll probably leave them. The boat really moves a lot when another boat comes past. I know I've got it on slack moorings, so I can push it out, but uh, all the same, it does rather interfere. The front half of the boat, where I'm sanding down at the moment, is in much better condition than the back half. It just seems to me that <laughs> the back half has been knocked around a lot. There's some odd marks, scars if you like, from welding and stuff like that. It's rather peculiar. <laughs> There are a couple of big dings on this side of the boat, on the bow. I think you can see them in this next shot. There's also quite a large one on the other side, which means the sander can't sort of go smoothly over those areas, so just do the best I can. I am just going to do a little bit more rubbing down in one or two areas with a rougher paper. I started with 240, quickly changed to 180 and now I'm going to go back to the 240 grit just to tidy up one or two bits. This is the sort of thing that needs tidying. You can see the runs there, they're still slightly raised. Well, I'm feeling a lot better about this side now that I've given it a good rubbing down. If you look at these two points here, here and there, you can see the surface was raised. And that's why the, um, that's why we've gone back to steel. There's some sort of blemish coming down here and down here. So areas like we've just seen and this need to be primed because we're back to the bare steel. And that's what I'm going to do now. I finished the touching in of those spots where we were down to bare metal and a few other areas, all at the back of the boat, interestingly. It must be <laughs> this corner at the back that gets knocked around most, which I think, partly I think, is due to the, uh, the square back. I'm sure that that makes life more difficult. I feel it makes things more difficult for me when I'm turning the boat or in a tunnel or so forth. So it is more likely to get knocked 
than it would with a conventional rounded back. I hope to get the uh, top coat on today, the, the first top coat that is, the blue paint. So I'm going to give this a good while to, to dry off. I know the conditions probably too hot for painting but um, the sun has just gone behind the sun has just gone behind clouds. So I'll see you a bit later. It is getting towards lunchtime again, so I'll probably just take a break now. I'm going to do some rubbing down using wet and dry paper on the bow of the boat. There are some runs there which need to be removed. It's difficult to use the sander because it's not altogether flat. In fact, I will have a go with the sander, I think, just to start with. But there are some areas, because of the dings in the bodywork, <laughs> the sander just glosses over them. Ah, that was the right decision to use the sander. Oh dear. Ah, I see my my card in the camera has only got a few minutes left to run. <laughs> what a nuisance. <laughs> I've just given a very light going over with the sander on a lower speed to those areas that I primed earlier today. Although no rain is forecast, it does look a bit threatening to me. I'm just getting ready <laughs> to do the blue gloss. There's always an issue, isn't there? Nothing is ever straightforward. I've checked the weather app and no rain is shown for today. It just shows it as being cloudy at the moment. Well, I had literally just poured the paint into the tray <laughs> to start painting again and it's just started to rain. It's not much, just a few spits, but things can change so dramatically that I'm just holding back for a moment. Bought everything, I don't want to get wet <laughs> into the boat. <laughs> and it's blowing up again as you can see. Just started to rain again. <laughs> There's not really a lot more to be done, so what should I do? Carry on or stop? As you can see, I carried on with the painting. The rain stopped as soon as I'd spoken to you, so <laughs> I just carried on. I need to open a new tin now. Um, very nearly done, but uh, the tray is empty. <laughs>
I will be putting black bitumen along the rubbing strake so the blue does look a bit untidy but I will be going over that with the bitumen. I'm pleased to say that I've achieved what I wanted to achieve today. That doesn't always happen. was a little bit concerned earlier about the weather, but fortunately the rain held off and none was expected anyway. So I'm going to leave that there for today. Thanks for watching. Not quite sure when I'll be doing any more work, so I'll catch up with you later. Cheers. Bye for now. As I said in that last shot, I'm not really sure when I'll be doing any more painting. I brought it to a sort of natural end at the time because I had other commitments to sort out. I needed to arrange for my camper van to be MOT'd and serviced. I've been away on other matters as well. I'd like to thank you for some of the really lovely comments that I've had. <laughs> um, I think the boat painting looks far better. <laughs> <laughs> on screen then it does close up there are some issues with what I've done it doesn't really matter it's all going to be rubbed down and started again but there is some bubbling where I've used the roller that's not unexpected and that will disappear when it's rubbed down and um, roll it again and then laid off with a brush whilst out cruising I am of course picking up scratches on the sides of the boat when you pass another boat in a tight space and there are brambles there, they brush along the side. And also the boat does get knocked in different places, in locks against other boats and so forth. It's just unavoidable. I am actually presently cruising <laughs> and some of you will know that I am on the Ashby Canal and that will form the basis of my next series of cruise videos. I'm not quite sure when I will actually get back to painting I need to do some work in the engine bay. At present I have four leisure batteries. Two of these are in the engine bay and two are in the cabin and the idea is to group them all together and I need to do some painting in the engine bay to get ready for that move. So that will take precedence when I get back. So anyway I'd like to thank you all for watching. It's been great to have you along and <laughs> see what I'm up to. <laughs> and. Um, there will be further boat painting videos coming, I just don't know where. Bye for now.